Podcast. Welcome to Meet Planet. Thank you for landing. I was wondering if this foolishness was going to be cancelled any time soon. But, I guess that would stop the agenda. In Columbus, Ohio, a group of feral teenagers, nicknamed, the Game Over Kids, were recently caught on surveillance showing survival consciousness, and idea ego, out of control. The video shows two teenagers getting outside of a vehicle at a gas station, with one teen shooting the other in the leg, during a fight. It was about 4 o'clock in the evening, on August, 25th, when a group of teens all packed into one car, pulled up to a Columbus gas station on the 5800 block of Cleveland Avenue. A 16-year-old in red pants, and a 14-year-old, get out of a white vehicle and start fighting, then punching each other. They were in a group together, in a stolen car at the gas station, and two of them got into a verbal altercation, then. The older teen pulls a gun and shoots the other teen in the leg. The shooter casually sits back in the car, as the others run out to help the injured teen. Everyone else in the car grabs the victim of the shooting, picks him up and puts him in that same car with the person who just shot him. Does this sound rational? Do you still think we are all the same? They take him over to a location on Arthurwood, where they dump him out. No medical care provided. No aid of any kind. Police were called to the gas station where the shooting happened, then got another call the injured teen had been dropped off at an apartment complex on Arthurwood Drive. This is what is important for the public to see. These kids do not care about each other. There is no honor amongst thieves, these kids are engaging in dangerous activity, and they are making dangerous decisions. If this is how they are going to treat someone in the core group, what do they care about you? me, or your mother or sister, or whoever else. They don't. Police said the same teens, were involved in a SWAT barricade at the same apartments, about three weeks later over stolen cars. Then again in October, police say the same group of teens was arrested again, on Arthurwood Court after several stolen cars and guns were recovered. The video shows, just how little regard, these teens have for your safety. Police are urging everyone to be aware of their surroundings, and to keep their car locked at all times. The teens involved in the shooting are being held in the juvenile detention center. What is important for the public to see on this is these kids do not care about each other. There's no honor amongst thieves.